Kai Fair and welcome to my channel. So this video is going to be all about Instagram. I grew my following in about nine months uh, to over 20,000 which is where I sit now uh, and I did that by using these best practices that I'm going to show and share with you through this video. So I hope you watch to the end and I hope you find it useful. I'm going to do future videos on my best tips and tricks for the app itself. So don't forget to subscribe down below if you want to see uh, those future videos too. So my first tip is don't do it just for the followers. If your heart is in it just for the followers, then you're gonna, it's going to come across like that on your account. You want it to be upbeat. You want, it, you want to do it because you want to do it, if you know what I mean, because it's going to take a little while to build your channel and to get those followers. And if you're just doing it for the followers, that's going to come across. You really want to be, your heart really needs to be in it because you know it doesn't happen overnight. So do it because you love it, don't do it because Please of the Please don't let the number of followers on your Instagram account um, dictate how you feel about yourself as a person. Please, um, please try not to compare yourself to me or other people who've got hundreds of thousands of followers because it takes time to build. And you know what? It's not the most important thing in the world either. My second tip is to use quality images. If you want to attract followers to your account, you need something that's going to attract them. So the images that you put out need to be what you're happy with, what would attract you to follow other people's accounts. So think about that, what the, the type of images that of the accounts that you like to follow uh, and, and recreate them yourself um, in high quality. So if you love to take um, or love to follow people who've got amazing sunset pictures, then why not take your own if that's something that you're really interested in. Just pick high quality images that people are going to want to click follow to see more. My of. third tip is to be social on Instagram. The more you double tap, the more double taps will come back to you. The more you like, share, tag, um, follow, things that you like, the more that's going to come back to you as well. If you're social on there, it's going to build your engagement on your account, which is going to attract followers to your account. Number four, and this is directly related to number three, is engagement on your account. If somebody comments, respond, you know, comment on other people's posts uh, and sort of really build your network on Instagram of people that you connect with. Uh, and the bigger you build that, then the bigger your audience and the bigger dedicated followers and more engagement you have, the better. My tip number five is to use hashtags. So Instagram allows you up to 30 per post. They can be put either in the comments or in your description. It doesn't really matter. It's personal preference. Um, but yeah, use those um, and use them to the maximum if you're really trying to get followers. So you can go right up to 30 um, and use relevant hashtags to what you're posting. My tip number six is not to be spammy. So you don't want to be going um, on people's accounts saying follow for follow, like for like, inboxing people, begging them to follow you. It is probably the quickest way to get blocked or more to spam on Instagram, which is not what you want for your account when you're attracting followers. So try not to spam people's feeds um, with like irrelevant comments saying we should connect if you've got nothing to offer them either. Just keep it completely real and don't spam people's accounts. My tip number seven is to show your personality. So if you love the beach, make your account around that, show that in your account. If you love fashion and fashion blogging, then put that into your account. If you love makeup, make your account, you know, like make people understand that you love makeup throughout your account. Put your personality into it. If you're an amazing photographer and that's what you're about, then showcase that on Instagram. It'll become your niche and if you like it and you're interested in your own feed, other people will like it and be interested. My tip in number it. eight is don't follow to unfollow people. Um, it looks really bad. I've even seen comments on other Instagrammers posts saying, oh, thanks for the unfollow and things like that, which is just giving your account less credibility. If you're gonna follow somebody, let it be you're following them because you like what they're about on their So feed. my tip number nine is to be consistent. 
So you want to show up and post every day on Instagram, particularly if you're trying to build your account to attract followers, you want to be present in the news feed. But also going along with that, you don't want to be posting a hundred times a day and clogging up the news feed because you, that's the fastest way to get blocked. So you want to have a happy medium and post consistently every day to build that feed. If you want to post two, three times a day, that's great, but just make sure you're not clogging up people's feet. My tip number 10 is to have fun and be patient. So enjoy the process because the process is long and it's continuous. You won't wake up one morning after putting a post to 10 million followers. It's something that needs to be earned and it's something that needs to be built over time. You could go and buy a million followers, I'm pretty sure, but the engagement will be so low, nobody thinks and they will unfollow anyway. Or they'll just if you've be got dead, dead accounts on there, there's gonna be no engagement and likes, which is not gonna attract real followers. So follow my steps one to ten, be patient, be consistent with your posting, and you'll see your followers increase on Instagram. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video because it helps me develop more videos like this if I know you like them in the future. And don't forget to subscribe for more content weekly from me. Bye.